All right, Gerard, thank you. It is no secret that Botox fights wrinkles, but did you know that Botox can also help fight incontinence? In today's Your Health Matters, a doctor from Lee Summit Medical Center explains what causes incontinence and some new treatments. Here's 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively. When it comes to incontinence. A lot of women are embarrassed or ashamed or they think that something's happening to them that's just a normal part of having babies or a normal part of aging. And in fact, although it's very common, it's not normal. Urogynecologist Megan Sneed explains the difference between stress incontinence. That's the leaking of urine that's movement based without any urge that you have to have that you have to urinate. And that type of incontinence is usually because of the pelvic floor and urgency incontinence, which could mean mixed messages between the bladder and the brain. A lot of women will describe it as feeling like they've got to run to the bathroom and they may or may not make it in time. And that's not a urethra problem. That is a bladder problem. Treating stress incontinence might start with physical therapy. Pelvic floor strengthening, behavioral and lifestyle modifications, and often surgical procedures that are aimed at re-supporting the urethra. Lifestyle changes may help with urgency incontinence, but may need daily medication with possible side effects. Sneed says what's common known as Botox could help women avoid the prescription. It is a procedure where we just inject small amounts of medication, like the medications we use to relax the muscles in the face to, so that you don't see wrinkles. And when we inject those little bits of medication into the bladder, then that relaxes the bladder and keeps it from contracting. They can just a couple times a year come and have a pretty quick procedure and not worry about it the rest of the time and live their lives. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.